You're watching KPRC2, Houston's home for news. Top Chef fans are gearing up for a big night, especially right here in Houston. That's because we have a local chef who's competing in the finale tonight. Yeah, Dawn Burrell has been a fan favorite since the beginning, and now she has made it to the final three. A big accomplishment, but even before this, this chef had a lifetime of big achievements. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker has more on that. And Taisha, you're live at Fiji's Barbecue. That's in Spring Branch. And we want to point out that's not where Burrell works, but our local food community, Titan. Knit, of yep. course, so they're there rooting her on. Chris, the co-owner here at Fiji's Barbecue, Erin Smith, is really close friends with Don Burrell. She says even if Burrell does not take home that title tonight and the $250,000 prize, she'll still be among Houston's top chefs. All right, I think we know who the next top chef is. Tonight, two of the three finalists on Bravo's Top Chef Portland will pack their knives and go home. <laughs> Fiji's barbecue owner, Aaron Smith. All right, right behind you guys. Hopes her friend Dawn Burrell won't be one of them. I really hope she makes it all the way. We'll be rooting for her, but either way, I'm incredibly proud of her. I mean, I think this is great for Houston. I think it's great for women, and I think it's just certainly great for Dawn. Burrell has been a breakout star on season 18 of the Bravo show. This is the meal of my lifetime. Cooking was on the back burner for much of Burrell's life. The 47-year-old is a track and field Olympian who competed in the summer 2000 games. Burrell appeared on Houston Life this past March to share how she got a taste for cooking. I just loved food so much because it, it would kind of warm my soul for those uh, events. Smith says Burrell's competitiveness on the track field has given her chops on the show. She has shown that, you know, you can step in at any point and really exceed, and um, I think that's really inspiring for me. Prior to joining Top Chef, Burrell worked as an executive chef at Culture. She joined Lucille's hospitality group after filming the show. How was everything? Oh, it was great. Smith is hosting a watch party at her restaurant tonight at 7 to root for her friend, whether she comes out on top or not. I just suspect that Dawn is going to do very well. I mean, I suspect she's going to win. Um, like I said, even if she doesn't win, I'm still really, really proud of her. As you can see, the restaurant has Top Chef playing on all three of their big screens leading up to the start of their finale watch party, which kicks off at 7 p.m. Again, the uh, co-owner here at Fiji's Barbecue tells me you don't have to come and order food. You could just come and sit down and cheer on uh, Don Burrell. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC. Tunis. Yeah. Rooting her on from KPRC. But we all know you just can't show up to a barbecue joint and not order food. No. Come on. Never. That's impossible. Never. Oh. It's impossible. <laughs> yeah. So bring us back some, Taisha. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Dropping some we'll hints, do. I think. Right. <laughs> well,